Doghead Simulations is the name of our VR company, uh, co-founded with myself um, and two of my very good friends. And we really only do one thing. We have a software platform that enables anyone to immersively monotask in virtual reality. So we provide education, training, and collaboration spaces in VR. The main problem we solve is ineffective distributed communication. So a lot of the existing um, alternatives right now, the virtual teleconferencing solutions, um, are very flat two-dimensional experiences and a lot of times people are just not engaged in, in those experiences. Our software, Rumi, solves those problems by immersively monotasking you in an immersive environment in virtual reality uh, from anywhere on Earth. So, in effect, uh, we're solving the problems of ineffective distributed communication, um, uh, distributed training, corporate training, and collaboration. So, a lot of our customers use us for uh, instructor-led distributed education um, and uh, you know daily status, stat up, meet, stand, daily status meetings. Um, sales training, um, but y without the need for travel. So the nice thing is that you don't need to actually travel anywhere. You could be in Brazil, I can be in America, and you can meet in one room and all feel like you're in the same physical space at the same time. Um, and the nice thing about our software too is it's an all-in-one solution. So with Rumi, you get all of the tools that you have in your existing office environment, interactive whiteboards, desktop sharing, um, you know, 3D model interaction, and a number of other tools that don't exist in uh, this kind of uh, real-world environment, but do exist in VR, make a lot of sense in VR. Um, like um, positional audio, uh, the ability to pull in a 3D model and interact with it uh, from anywhere on Earth, but in a VR space. Booz Allen Hamilton is a big customer of ours. Um, they use us in their uh, immersive computing division, and we've replicated their entire uh, um, innovation lab in DC in a 3D space in Rumi. So they don't need to fly people all over the world to come to the physical space in DC. People can attend that space and work from that space from anywhere on earth. Booz uses us, they've done um, all hands meetings using our software, uh, daily status meetings, um, and they've had in, in innovation events in our software. We also get used to do uh, conferences, so think of conferences like the Compu uh, Consumer Electronics Show, CES, um, Augmented World Expo, these types. So we actually ran the, f the world's first all-day conference entirely in virtual reality. And we had over 600 people join from six different continents around the world. It ran the full day. We had keynote speakers, breakout sessions. I mean, it was just like an actual conference, but it was in VR. And then we also, another big use case of ours is um, instructor-led distributed education and corporate training. So Harvard uses us um, to teach um, you know, remotely. Uh, Folsom University has been using us for over a year to teach remotely. And Ericsson and uh, other companies like that use us for corp distributed corporate training. Great. Um, so I was just going to ask an additional one about, I know even if you don't have use cases, but uh, if you could highlight something, applications in government, like where you, do, do, you, do you have any specific examples of where you might be pursuing something or thinking about something? Yeah, so um, the DIA uses us um, and the U.S. Air Force uses us f specifically for instructor-led distributed education. And, and um, I'll use the uh, use case at the Air Force. So there's an instructor at the Air Force that uses us to teach the next generation of leaders from all branches throughout the government. So think civilian, military, and contractor. And he uses our software to get them in the same physical space at the same time and teach, teach them, walk them through uh, entire course work through a semester. Um, and he's been using us for close to a year now uh, with great success. I actually sat in on one of the classes. It was very interactive. And the nice thing is that we had students from, or he had students from uh, stationed in Germany, uh, Arizona, I mean, all over the world. Um, and they're able to immersively interact and educate and train, but not, not travel.